Dobby, Buzzin, Nick, Dirty. Do you know all of these British phrases that are used in everyday conversations? Don't worry if you don't, because I will teach you 16, yes, 16 phrases that you can use with examples. Stick around until the end of the video because I will give you one important word that we use in the UK a lot for you to sound even more natural. Don't forget there is a free PDF file with all of the lesson notes for this video. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's get started. The first one we have is shirty. This means to be angry or annoyed. Let me do it. I can do it quicker. No, I can do it, thanks. Don't get shirty with me. I'm only trying to help you. The example you heard there was, don't get shirty with me. I'm only trying to help. The next one is shambles, which means unorganized or chaotic. I'm sorry I'm late. The roads were a shambles today. The example you heard there was, the roads were a shambles today. The next one we have is wangle. This means to get something or achieve something through persuading someone. I wangled two front row tickets for the football today. How did you manage that? Just by being nice to the ticket lady. The example you heard there was, I wangled two front row tickets for the football. The next one you can use is buzzing. Now this one you have to use without the G. Buzzing. The N sound at the end. This means to be really or extremely excited. Are you going to the festival this weekend? Yeah, I can't wait. I'm absolutely buzzing. The example you heard there is yeah, I can't wait. I'm absolutely buzzing. The next one is whinge, which means to complain about something. Come on, hurry up. I'm tired. My legs hurt. Stop your whinging. We're nearly home. The example you heard there is stop whinging. We're nearly home. The next one is take the biscuit. This is used to express surprise when someone has done something irritating or stupid. Where is she? One hour later. I'm sorry for being late. Being five minutes late is okay, but being an hour late is really taking the biscuit. The example you heard there was being five minutes late is okay, but being an hour late really takes the biscuit. The next one is pop your clogs, which means to die. You know, I really want to go to Australia before I pop my clogs. The example you heard there was I really want to go to Australia before I pop my clogs. The next one is miffed. Now, this is used to express being annoyed or irritated by something. However, it is usually used in a softer way than using annoyed or irritated. And we also use it in conjunction with a bit. Yay, I got new shoes today. Yeah, I was a bit miffed I couldn't buy those shoes today. 
So, the example you heard there was, I was a bit miffed I couldn't buy those new shoes. As you can see, we used a bit in the example. The next one is doddle. Now this means that something is easy to do. I can't fix this. Give it here. It's a doddle. I can do it. The example you heard there was, oh, give it here. It's a doddle. I can do it. The next one is butchers. Now this means to look at something. Len, come and have a butchers at this old photo. The example you heard there was, come and have a butchers at this old photo. The next one is blinder. Now this means that you do something really, really well. It is often used in sports to describe someone's performance. The goalkeeper played a blinder today. We couldn't score past him. The example you heard there was, the goalkeeper played a blinder today. We couldn't score past him. The next one is to nick or nick which means to steal something or something is stolen i can't believe it my car was nicked last night the example you heard there was i can't believe it my car was nicked last night the next one is to be in the nick which means to be in prison. Where's James? He's in the nick for stealing cars. The example you heard there was, he's in the nick for stealing cars. The next one is chuffed. This means to be pleased or proud about something I'm really chuffed he won the tournament. The example you heard there was, I'm really chuffed he won the tournament. The next one is gutted. This means to be disappointed. I'm gutted the festival got cancelled due to the rain. The example you heard there was, I'm gutted. The festival got cancelled due to the rain. Last one is gobby. This means that someone is loud, noisy, and usually saying things that can be offensive. Why are you being so gobby? Just sit down and have a quiet drink. The example you heard there was... Why are you being so gobby? Just sit down and have a quiet drink. Okay, so as promised, what is that important word I was talking about earlier in the video? Well, actually, it's not one. It's two words. And they are absolute and absolutely. You probably heard them in some of the examples we just looked at. We use this a lot in the UK to add emphasis to our sentences. For example, I'm absolutely buzzing and it was an absolute doddle. They both can be used to make you sound much more natural. So out of all of these 16 British expressions and phrases, let me know which one is your favorite and write an example in the comments below. Also, if you would like to sound even more natural, you need to watch this video here. It will give you 30 everyday phrasal verbs that you can start using 
right now.